Hello, in this session we will talk about select statements where clause. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Here I am connected to the virtual desktop to access the SAP HANA Studio, which I am using to connect to the SAP HANA database. In the previous session we have seen some examples of select statements and we have seen how you can control which columns you want to see in which order by modifying the column list in the select statement. So let's say a table has four columns and 100 records. You may want to see four columns, you may only want to see one column. So column is not the only side of things that you want to control. You might want to also control what records you want to see. You might want to only view certain records that are qualifying or meeting certain criteria. So how do we control that? How do we tell the system show us only those records that are fulfilling this criteria? For that we use a WHERE clause which is an optional component of select statement. If WHERE clause is not included then all the records will be displayed. So let me add a WHERE clause to this select statement that you're seeing on the screen. So I can go at the end and enter the keyword WHERE. So all the keywords are automatically shown in this magenta color. So as I typed the keyword WHERE, it changed to that color as well, just like SELECT and FROM. So here I can provide certain criteria. For example, show me all the records where the column F name is equal to Hassan. Here I can add some criteria. For example, show me all the records where name column has a value SQL. Okay. Now keep in mind that all the varchar values are written in single quotes. SQL is a constant value it's an alphanumeric value so it has to go in single quotes while column names could be written in double quotes but a constant varchar value has to be written in single quotes decimal or numeric values can go without quotes let me just remove one occurrence of the name column so I'm asking the system show me all the records where the name has a value SQL and for those records show me the values in this order in terms of columns fees description ID and name so let's run this command by clicking on this green button so I only see one record that makes sense because only one course has name SQL so let me go back to the SQL tab now this time let me say show me all the courses in other words show me all the records because I'm doing a select from this table course so all the records are representing the courses so show me all the courses where column ID has a value less than 003 my ID column is a word chart too so that's why I'm specifying uh, these quotes here so if I run this command I should only see two records where the ID is 001 and 002 because system is now using this condition that I have specified here ID is less than 003 I can be little fancy here I can say okay show me all the courses where ID is between between is another keyword between let's say 001 and 003 so this time I should see three records 1, 2 and 3 so if I run this statement I'm seeing three records as expected so you're seeing how we can put a condition in the WHERE clause so I'm back to my SQL tab so you can imagine system scanning the whole table from top to bottom and finding out for each record whether it fulfills the WHERE clause condition or not. If it does then it is 
selected for the final display otherwise it's rejected so once the whole table is scanned then those records that were selected for the final display are shown on the screen so this is just a way of imagining what system is doing system is of course doing the same thing using some shortcuts but it is displaying at the end all the records that are matching your wear condition so let's say I want to see all the courses that starts with text or with the character A so I can say where name is starting with A so how would I say that name like like is another keyword and this time I'm going to use single quotes and I'm going to say a percentage single quote close so a percentage percentage is a wild card so I'm saying the first character is a and then anything could come after a like is a keyword that is used for pattern matching if I run this command I'll see ABAP and accounting courses so not only that I can say okay where the course name is ending at P if I run this command I will only see ABAP and here the wildcard is at the beginning so we are saying the last uh, character is P and anything could be before that and we can say starting with A and ending at P anything could be in between that if I run this command I'll still see the same ABAP course or I can say okay show me all the courses but not the ABAP course so I can use the not equal to sign and use the value here ABAP in single quotes this way system will show me everything but that ABAP course so this is a not equal to operator not equal to is also sometimes written as exclamation equal to this will give you the same result as the other not equal to syntax that was less than and greater than sign the column names do not have to be in double quotes so if I remove the double quote system will give me the same result however the constant values have to be in single quotes if I remove ABAP if I remove the quotes from around ABAP I will get an error because this is not a valid value system is thinking ABAP is some kind of a column but in fact I intended that to be a value so I get the error message here so the purpose of this session was just to give you a quick demo of basic SQL commands and here we were adding one condition in where clause in coming videos you will see how you can join multiple conditions in where clause using AND and OR operators